the, the gaslighting on Bidenomics. I mean, you see it every day. You see Joe Biden standing out there and tell you how it's the cheapest Thanksgiving, fourth cheapest ever. That's complete garbage. You know that, so do I. Fourth cheapest thing. Oh, the cheapest thing. <laughs> really, Joe, just put your teeth in and, and, and gnaw on the, on the cheesecake or whatever it is you do. The gaslighting on Bidenomics coming from every member of the administration. The fact of the matter is you know better. You shop. You live in the real world. I have no idea what world Joe lives in. And, and frankly, neither does he. But listen. Almost three years in office. Inflation is up over 17 percent since President Biden came here. And inflation, you're saying that's still Trump's fault. Inflation, inflation is moderating because of the actions that this, per this president has taken. Doesn't because that mean the prices because are going up slower. They're still high. It's going down. The prices are going down. If you look at where, for example, for a perfect example, I mean, I just talked about last week how turkey prices, the tur cost for turkeys is going down, the cost for eggs is going down because of the actions that were taken. We, I just talked about supply chain and how that affects the economy. And that's because of the president's action that he's taken. And if you think about gas prices, it's down by $1.70 since its peak, since its peak, because of the actions that this president has taken. So we understand that people are still not feeling it. We get that. But does it mean that we're not going to continue to talk about it? Does it mean that the president at 2 o'clock is not going to talk about how he's lowering costs? Yeah, they're going to keep pitching it and pitching it and pitching it. And the sales pitch keeps going because right now, what do they have to show for almost three years in charge? Massive inflation, no matter how they try to downplay it. Inflation's a cumulative number of almost 20%, and in some things much larger, be it used cars or eggs or mortgages. I mean, the inflation... Mortgages, the rates are three times what they were. So they have massive inflation, an open border, two major wars, the first of its size in Europe since World War II, and the biggest in Israel since 1973, 50 years. And what about those terrible poll numbers that showed Joe Biden losing to, well, just about everyone? Oh, they don't want to talk about that either. Here, listen. And I suspect if we pulled the room, many of us would probably ask some version of the following question. Okay. Given the president's sagging poll numbers and the fact that he is currently placing behind any Republican opponent. Has there been any talk in this White House about a change in strategy or staffing going forward in reflection of those numbers that continue to show him underwater? No. No. No, we're not talking about anything. No, we're doing great. Uh, by, by the way, uh, answers a great question, by the way. Great question. That's why more and more the smart money is on Donald Trump to win it all. More and more, the smart money is on Donald Trump to win it all because, first of all, the money's coming in. All those mega donors that said, oh, we're going to go with somebody else. We'll find a younger candidate. Tried to back Ron DeSantis. That fizzled. Oh, Nikki Haley's are, well, she's not going to make it either. They're 50 points behind. We're 49 days from the Iowa caucuses. Look, it's all over but the crying here, folks. Donald Trump's going to win it all. He's going to win the primaries, he's going to be the GOP nominee, and he's going to win the presidency November 5th, 2024. But in order for that to happen, you do have to vote. All right, for that to happen, you do actually have to vote, and you have to make sure all your friends vote as well. There's no, no excuse, oh, I don't trust the election. Well, here's your option. Say you don't trust the election and don't vote. You might as well have voted for Joe Biden at that point. I don't trust the elections a lot of times either in a lot of the different ways. However, I'm going to vote because what choice do I have? What choice do I have? I have to believe that we're going to overwhelm the system by so many votes this time, they can't possibly play games with it. And listen to this. With five people in the race, Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., uh, West and, and Stein, plus probably Manchin, you've got all that Cornell West, Jill Stein, Joe Manchin, all in the race... They're not going to know how to figure it out. They're not going to know how to game that system. And in all the polling, uh, Kennedy gets somewhere between about seven on the low side. He'll, he'll do better than that. Uh, 18, 19, sometimes 20 on the high side. He won't do that well. 15 is a pretty good bet for RFK Jr. Pretty good showing. Uh, Manchin might pull 10, maybe. The other two pull three. Every time that happens, you know how much Donald Trump pulls? 40. Who pays the price? Joe Biden. Donald Trump's base isn't going anywhere. So again, he's going to win, but you have to do your part for that to happen.
and sitting on the sidelines crowing about how the system is rigged isn't doing your part. If you want to vote and then go be a poll watcher, that's doing your part. I'll sit here and sound the alarm. That's doing my part. But everybody has to play a role. If it's calling your friends low propensity voters that believe what you believe, but oh, you know, the kid's sick or my foot hurts or, you know, I didn't feel well. Make sure those folks vote early if you're in a state where you can do that. Right? Florida, what has nine days? Is it nine days in Florida? Somebody's going to correct me on this of, of early voting. Where I am, it's like six weeks. So I'll vote early. Why not? I'll vote early, make sure my vote's in, and then I'll spend the next six weeks calling friends. Hey, have you voted yet? Hey, we're having a get-together on the weekend. Bring it, because it's all legal. In Michigan, it's all legal. Call your friends, have them bring over the ballots. We'll have a big old get-together. We'll have a ballot party, have some pizza, whatever. We'll talk about politics a little bit. We'll just have fun. We'll have fun. We'll talk to each other. Put our cell phones down for me, and then you'll collect a stack of ballots, and away you go. Fight like a Democrat. I've told you that for years now. Fight like a Democrat. And that, my friends, is how you do it. You go fight like a Democrat and you win this thing because you, you, you have no other option. No other option. Here. here and here's something. If you're, a little, if you're a little jacked up, how about this from Healthy Cell? Calm Mood. Yeah. Cal, you like that transition? Calm Mood from Healthy Cell, uh, which is a gel supplement that has a blend of ingredients to help with stress relief. It's a non-drowsy formula, so you can take it any time of the day. It supports relaxation and stress relief. Get the equivalent of eight pills worth of mood-supporting nutrients in one gel pack. Support the balance of your happy neurotransmitter serotonin and dopamine. Yes. Be happy, my friends. Buy American-made microgel formula vitamins. American-made. Go to HealthyCell.com. What's the promo code? Gruber. HealthyCell.com. Use the promo code Gruber. Save 20%. On your first order right now. Ah, you got to feel good about that. God bless America. I'll be back.